Hey guys, Richard of Fish and Auto Channel and Reefs.com. How you guys doing today? As you saw, I got a new tank. And that means I have a lot of stuff to show you, stuff to do. And for this week, I wanted to show you how I wanted to aquascape my aquarium. So I visited my good friend Chris Portelli of the fish store in Port St. Lucie to check out how it's done. Check it out. So this is our, um, our, our man-made aquascape project from Real Reef. These are all the Tonga branch from Real Reef and we've cemented the whole entire thing together. So this is all one solid piece. Took us a little while, took us a couple days. This is our final product. We did have some setbacks. There are some tips. Some of the setbacks that we did have were not making the mixture properly. You wanna make sure that you get your concrete mixture the same every time. Almost kind of like a fudge brownie mix every time. It, it's consistency. That's what you want, that same material every time. And you want to have the piece in place when you're making the material. Once you start making it, you don't have time to fool with the piece. You want to have it ready to go. But some of the setbacks that we did have, once you have a piece in position, you don't want to touch it. You don't want to mess with it. Once it's there, you got to leave it there and go home. Don't touch this structure after that. It was my own fault. I thought this looked great and I was like, oh, what can I add onto this? And then as soon as I did that, it broke the previous seal or mount that I already had made. And then that put us back days for the material that I had just built. You know, these are setbacks that everybody can have and you work through it and you make something even better the next time. We went with Real Reef because sustain sustainability. This is almost looks just like the real Tonga branch. It looks like the real product. It's not, it's not from the ocean. It's not harvested. We're not taking things from the ocean. This is man-made and it's uh, eco-friendly. How we actually built this structure and what we're after is we're after mounting positions for our coral. We want to have places for our acros, places for our monoporas that we can show them off. So these actual tips give us great places to mount our SPS or our acros. We also have plates that give us a good place to put our zoos or monoporas. You could actually take different types of monies and encrust them over different branches. So you have a multicolored piece of coral rock at the end. We started out with a larger base on the bottom with a piece of actually flat plate rock and then built off of that. We made a nice base so we had a nice wide structure. I finished it off with these top pieces and I think the, I think it came out really nice. This is probably one of the nicer structures that we've done. Some of the design things that we've done while building this structure is we wanted to keep it open. We wanted as much flow through the reef as possible. Our wrasses um, are gonna love this reef. They're gonna have all kinds of little nooks and crannies to swim through and that's what we're after. We want. We almost want to design the reef around flow. So you want to have your power heads and all this water moving and be able to flow through the reef to keep detritus out of the reef. We want to keep this thing as clean as possible. So the more flow you have, I think through the reef, the better off we are. Guys, I want to talk about the placement of these uh, pieces and our three points of contact. At least for me, I think that all of these pieces should have at least three points of contact where you can have a little bit of concrete where you can make a leg or some type of barrier where the pieces are actually concreted too and have three different pieces so it doesn't rock. We don't want it rocking or shifting, especially later on in the tank with lots of wave movement and flow that we have going on. We don't need anything shifting, especially when we have corals mounted later on. So getting this base solid and done right the first time is key. And uh, we wanna make sure that we get those three points of contact so none of these pieces can come apart later on. So the beauty of this aquascape is it's highly customizable. Our base is already set, but we can always add little filler pieces to hide our little center pieces of concrete or our little attachment parts pieces in and um, hide those areas that you don't find too lovely. Or you could customize it into your liking. The next time you'll see this rock aquascape, it will be in Richard's tank. If you have questions, if you need help, I'm Chris at The Fish Store down here in South Florida. You can see us on uh, Instagram, The Fish Store, Facebook, it's Fish Store slash Custom Aquariums. I'm here with Richard at Auto Channel. Have a great day.